cause and effect of concussions is extremely important at every level of football. And here at LSU, you all are consistently doing research on concussions and other types of effects. Now, what are some of the new things that you all have done this year, like this brand new turf we're standing on? So one of the new things that we've done is we did get the new turf this year. Um, it was about 10 years old before, so it was time for a change. The new thing that we did this year was there's a, um, a pad underneath that's like a cushion. So this is the new thing that people are doing now. So we're seeing a lot less knee injuries, a lot less low back injuries. Um, people are just playing better and the guys are able to stay on the field. So it's really been helping our performance along the way. Now, when it comes to tracking some of these like c c concussion effects, you've got sensors in certain helmets for the players. Now, what exactly are you all tracking? With yeah, so we pick a select few people. This year we have 49 guys that we're tracking. Again, a lot of our interior linemen, linebackers, running backs, and a couple other guys. So we have apps, and so if somebody takes a hit, in a game or in a practice, we get an alert on our phone, so we can go track it, we can check it, and we'll see where the person was hit. We look at the G-force, the rotational force. Those are the big things we're looking for, you know, when it comes to concussions and those things. And when you get all of that information and other types of research together, has that changed the concussion protocol and procedure from years past? Yeah, so again, we've been doing this for four years now, and so Jack Marucci, the head athletic trainer, actually took a lot of our data, went to the NCAA with another group of athletic trainers, and that's how they decided to eliminate the two-a-day practices. That's how they um, chose the extra day off for the week during camp. Um, and those things has really been good for us and for the athletes. Some of the other things that maybe people don't think about, but like practice schedules and everything that's not necessarily in-game, but leading up to the game that can help eliminate some of these yeah, things. so Coach O's been great as far as the practice schedule. We don't hit as much as we used to. When we do hit, it's fast and fiery like Coach O, <laughs> but that's a good thing, but we don't hit as much. And so we've seen, you know, over the course of this time with our data, that we're seeing less big hits, less the alignment aren't hitting as much, which has been good. So this is an issue, concussions, that's never going to leave football at any level of the sport. So how do you take this research and everything that you've been collecting and put that towards the future? Yeah, so we look at this data. You know, we look at the helmets and different things, things that we can tweak. Again, we'll keep looking at the practices for football and, of course, soccer and the other sports. We'll keep on using this stuff and see, do we need to eliminate practice more? How do we need to change things? Again, we've been very receptive here at LSU, so we can change this stuff because, again, our goal is the health and well-being of the kids. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.